Travis? Travis! Travis, where are you? Hey, Caitlin. So, I was uh, just wondering if you got in my text messages. I've been trying to get in contact with you since yesterday to see if you wanted to go to a movie or something. J j just as friends, of course. I know. I know. We're like on the fence about the whole relationship thing. Uh, yeah, just give me a call when you can. Bye! Well, that was plenty awkward. <laughs> so, Travis... Real bro talk. You sounded really desperate there. I thought you and Caitlin were strictly just friends after the whole summer thing. We are, it's just, I'm kind of worried about her. Usually she's good at getting back to text messages and phone calls, but she hasn't been lately. I'm just hoping she's okay. Why don't you go check on her then? Uh, <laughs> Dante, I've been only calling her for a day. Going to check on her for not answering one text message is a little extreme, don't you think? Well, then take it easy. She's probably been busy with the move and everything. I mean, hey, we've been busy. Our place isn't even furnished yet. True, true. Hmm. Say, it's almost been one whole week since we've been here. We should go get groceries. Kind of tired of eating out every night. What? Eating out is great. Not when you're trying to maintain all of this. Uh, all of what? That's cold, Dante. That's cold. What? What's cold? What, what did I do? Wearing light shoes, walking down the shore, diving head first down to the ocean floor. Your dark brown eyes reflect fireflies, slipping bright. Getting me high on life It's a night to stay up late Things we have to do Travis, these are only enough groceries for one meal with Gareth and Lawrence. Yep. I thought you wanted to get food for the house. Look, we need to budget your money right now. Yeah, but... but hey! What do you mean, my... <laughs> His voice is just so beautiful. Exotic. I can't describe it. Was that Caitlyn? It sounded like her, but that definitely isn't something Caitlyn would say. Maybe it's some other girl that sounds like Caitlyn. Come on, let's... Ooh, Kalei-chan wasn't aware Caitlyn Sama was into his type. He's such a cinnamon roll. Wait, that's definitely Kawaii-chan, which means that was definitely... Caitlyn! We can't peep in on their conversation! We're not peeping! This seems like it! I just want to make sure Caitlyn is okay! Remember, she isn't answering my calls! I'm just not sure how I feel about all this yet. I mean, he's really cute and I'm super into him. He sent me a picture last night of him after his workout. <coughs> what?! Wow. Sounds like she's moved on, Travis. <laughs> so he is your type, eh? What about you, Kawaii-chan? Well, I've been talking to Yusung for a bit, and this morning, he... He sent me a picture of his breakfast! What?! Oh, sounds serious. Hey, wait a minute, mister! You had this whole summer thing with Nicole and Jenna! What was that reaction to Kawaii-chan? Well, it's just weird. Usually, Kawaii-chan skypes him for advice when she finds a cute guy. Since I am an advice master... <laughs> okay, calm down, your ego is showing. Still, 
For Kawaii-chan, a guy sending her pictures of breakfast is... definitely a thing for her. So are you gonna go after Zen? <laughs> I think so. He's just beautiful and his voice... <laughs> Zen is his name, huh? <sighs> Dante, my voice is sexy, right? Are you getting jelly? Of course not. I'm just trying to sound hot for no reason in particular. <clears throat> Besides, what could the Zen guy have on me that I don't? Not only that, Zen is an actor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me! Caitlin loves a guy who can act. You act too, Travis. Remember? You've taken theater? Yeah, but that was in high school and college! Uh, calm down, Travis. Keep it cool. Remember, you're not interested in Caitlyn like that right now. You are a calm, cool guy. That's the spirit! It's understandable to be a little jealous. After all, you guys spent a lot of time together during the summer. You should be happy for her if she's found someone she likes. You're right. You're absolutely right, Dante. Oh, he sent me a text. Ooh, he sent me a line he's rehearsing. It says, I want to be the only man in this world so that your eyes are never on some other guy. <laughs> what? Wow, that guy sounds, uh, some kind of character. He's practically, he just, no, I don't care if that's for a script. Caitlin would never. I told him he's the only guy in my world. <laughs> Wow, so you're pretty set on him? Yep, I want to see where things go with him. Oh, Kawaii-chan, we gotta get back home. Half Mouse coming over for tea. Ah, uh, oh, how do you think she's doing with her Yumin senpai? She's really into him. I think she's gonna go for him after all. Really? Wait, does Erinka know? Pfft, I don't think he'd care, so she probably hasn't told him anything. You're probably right, Caitlin sama When am I not? <laughs> Remind me to thank Afma for introducing me. Zen. <laughs> He's been such a huge stress relief. See, isn't this fun? Fine, it is fun to talk to a guy like this. <laughs> Come on, let's get going home. T -t Travis. D Dante. Did you just hear what I heard? Yeah. Afmau is cheating on Aaron. Caitlin likes someone. So does Kawaii-chan. What's happening? No way! This can't be real! This has to be some kind of joke! Do we tell Aaron about this? Like, how does this even happen? I thought Caitlin would get on to Afmau about something this serious! It would be one thing if they weren't officially dating, but... Afmo and Aaron have been dating for close to a year now! Okay, Dante, bud, calm down. I've known Afmo for a long time, and I know she isn't like that. Uh, so how do we approach this? Do we just tell Aaron? You got his number. Maybe you should tell him through text. No! No! We have to confront him to his face. This isn't something that should be talked about through text. But we can't just jump to conclusions about this either. We need to find out if it's true first. Right, right, right. We have to be more mature about this. Afmo, open up! We have to talk to you about your other man. Oh, real subtle, Travis. <sighs> Looks like no one is home. Man, where's Garth when you need him to break down a door? What are you so worked up about? Afmo introduced the Zen guy to Caitlyn! Travis, you need to calm down. You're right, you're right. Sorry. It's no problem. Still, I'm disappointed in the girls right now. That's it! The girls! We need to talk to Caitlyn and Kawaii-chan! Right, but if they're hiding information now, they're probably still going to hide it from us. So we gotta ask them without letting them know we know about these other guys they've been seeing. Uh, is this our place to get involved, though? Maybe we should just let them be. For Caitlyn and Kawaii-chan, I think we should leave them alone. They can see any guy they want. But for Aaron and Afmau, it's different. Aaron deserves to know if Afmau is seeing this Juman character. Right! Let's go!
Huh? Travis? Dante? What are you guys doing here? Hey, Caitlin! Uh, we were just in the neighborhood and... We live in the same neighborhood. Oh, right, right, right. So, um, we just wanted to come and see how you guys were doing. Hmm. Highly suspicious, but sure. Come on in. I was going to say, sorry about not responding to your text, Travis. I've been really busy moving and all. Oh yeah, and talking to some hot famous actor, I bet. What was that? I said, yeah, I bet you've been busy as a tractor. Nice save. <laughs> well, okay. You guys are just in time. We're gonna have tea with Aphmau soon. Just getting set up. Mind if I ask you where Aphmau is? We, uh, had just went to go visit her, and Aaron and no one was home. Aphma went to take their new kitty to the vet with Celestia, and Aaron couldn't is working. I see. So, has, uh, Aphma been acting weird lately? Huh? I mean, like, I'm sure she must have been missing you guys. Living with Aaron and everything has to be different for her. <laughs> Ooh, one second, Aphmau sent me a text! Oh, she's almost here! Oh, and uh, she sent me another picture that you mean senpai sent her! Oh, you mean looks so hot in a suit! So, Kawaii-chan, who is this Jumin Aphmau is seeing? Oh, just some hot guy she's going after. I wasn't expecting such an answer. Poor Aaron. Kawaii-chan, don't say it like that. Guys, there's no need to worry. Jumin is... Uh, one second, that's probably Aphmau. I'm so disappointed in you ladies! Come on, Dante! We're leaving out the back door! I thought I knew you better, Kawaii-chan! We'll be going to inform Aaron about this Mr. Jumin Aphmau's been cheating on him with! Good day! What? So anyway, guys, like I was saying, Jumin is just a... Huh? Where did they go? Uh, Dante Kun and Travis Kun went to tell Aaron that Aphmau is cheating on him. What? Aaron! Aaron! Hey guys, uh, what's going on? Look, Aaron, we're friends, right? Yeah? Friends tell each other when something is wrong. Yes. Especially on important matters. You guys are acting really weird. We won't be the only ones. Look, I don't know how else to say this, but... Aaron, Aphmau is cheating on you. She is? Yes, with someone named Jumin Ham. Han. Han. Jumin, are you guys serious? Look how dismayed he is. Aaron... This happens. I mean... Oh, there you guys are. How could you, Aphmau? Aaron is a good man! I expected more from you, Aphmau. You know why they're here? Yep. The girls told me. How could you cheat on me with Jumin? <laughs> He's just too hot, Aaron. <laughs> What's going on? You guys are taking this not the way I expected. Dante... Travis, Jumin is a fictional character in my dating sim. What? What? <laughs> it's called Mystic Messenger. You can text with all these hot anime boys and girl, and they call you and stuff. Here, look, I'll call Jumin. Well... I feel stupid. That's pretty cool. So, Jumin's hot, eh? I didn't mean that! He's a drawn character! You're a real person! I know. I'm just gonna tease you about this forever. <laughs> Aaron! <sighs> Hmm, let's see. Dante, is that Mystic Messenger? Leave me and my new possible boyfriend alone! 
Yeah, well, I'm going after Jayhee. We're gonna be BFFs and we're gonna talk about Zen because he totes looks like me. I'm sorry, but 707 is where it's at. Ooh, he just texted me.